What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're at the 20th and we're having a look at Unity Remote which allows you to stream your game inside of the phone. So this is not a build, this is actually in the game. Currently with my gyroscope, so you can see a couple of... Uh, you can see it's a little bit messed up but it's moving as I'm moving my phone because I'm using my phone's input to make things happen inside of the game. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so what you'll need today is you're going to need an Android phone, just like this one. You're going to need a wire to connect with your computer, and you're also going to need the uh, Android SDK installed and configured in Unity. If you don't have the Android SDK installed or configured, go back to yesterday's video and um, that will show you how to do it. So, here is what we'll do. We'll head over to play.google.com and find the Unity Remote 5 application, which is the latest one. Uh, make sure it is the fifth one, not the fourth one and it's working right now with Unity 2018.3. Now, if you can't directly get it on your computer and have it installed remotely on your phone, of course, go to Google Play on your phone and find it. So it should be under Unity Remote 5, this application over here. I'm not sure where the focus is. Um, and then open it. Once it's installed on your phone, you open it, it looks something like that. So, once we have this, you're going to connect it to your computer with your wire, and we're gonna go right in the engine. Inside the engine, you'll need to go under Edit, Project Settings, Editor, and over here at the very top where it says Unity Remote, you'll want to put that on any Android devices. If everything worked fine, you should be able to press play right now and have it display on your phone as well. Now, I gotta tell you, oh, by the way, I got a script for Gyroscope. That's for, um, that's for the other episode, but let me just remove that real quick. Okay, so this is what you should be able to see. So you have the Unity screen. Once you hit play in the engine, you're gonna receive a stream over here. And it's very important what I said right here, it's a stream. It's not a build on your phone. So technically you're just streaming the image. And the reason you wanna have this is so you have access to the input of the device. Those inputs are the tap controls. They are also the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the webcam, um, and everything, and also the GPS, so everything that your phone has inside of it that your computer doesn't have, but you know, you're still building for a Android game, you want to be able to test your swipe, you want to be able to test your gyroscope, in, in my case, and uh, yeah, this is what it lets you do, but it is a stream, so you're going to have a small delay in between the two, and it's going to be downsized. Now you can go under the settings, as you've seen earlier, and so you could go under PNG, you could have a normal downside, of course, keep the same joystick, press play. It shouldn't be as ugly, and in fact, it isn't as ugly, but it's much more laggy. It's really just an image, and we're streaming the input back inside the engine. Now, what's really cool about that is I'm gonna go right here, click on play. Oh, and it didn't work, so why didn't it work? We can head over to the engine, and you'll see your console that lets you know why it didn't work. And one last thing before I close this off, let me press on the quit button. It doesn't work. What does that mean? It means that we are not on the phone. We're not on an actual phone build. We're really just streaming what should be happening in the editor. And you know that when we click on quit in the editor, we don't get anything. It doesn't do anything because we do application.quit and it doesn't work in the editor. So yeah, that's another proof that it's not a phone build. Now, if this did not work for you, if you're not able to receive the, uh, the feed on your phone, then you might want to close off the engine completely and reopen it while the application is open on your phone and while you're connected. Sometime it did that to me like a couple of times in the past, but ever since I got new Unity versions, it doesn't do that anymore, uh, for me at least. So yeah, that's where I'm going to be ending to this episode. Very short one, but required for the next couple of episodes we're going to have because we're going to be speaking about those different inputs that we just mentioned. So gyroscope, accelerometer, maybe the webcam, and swipe control so that's going to be something we tackle in the future guys thank you so much for watching check out the patreon see if you want to pledge that'd be great check out the well subscribe to the youtube channel actually this is what i need right now i need more subscribers um yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you tomorrow cheers